some pretty amazing architecture. But during the holidays, Patty Page constructs some buildings that are a whole lot smaller and a whole lot sweeter using gingerbread. I never really decided to have a gingerbread business. I just kind of naturally backed into it. I mean, when I was like 10, I wrote a poem about cookies and shaped cookies. after I graduated from college where I majored in art because that's what, you know, the best thing to do if you wanted to promote your art career. And I thought, well, how can I make a living? And uh, I had a recipe, a special recipe that my grandmother had made all my life. And it was a little cream cheese butter dough in which you put a little walnut filling. I mean, people love these cookies, so I decided to sell them. And then I added other cookies. Awesome. Thanks. What are we making today? Today we're working on the mini gingerbread houses. They're so dear, these little mini ones. Just a couple of years ago, I decided to make the teeny one just because, well, it hadn't been done. We're right vintage aprons. That's our Christmas, Christmas apron. Okay, it is the holiday season. Let's make it happen. So this is just right out of the fridge here? This is gingerbread that's been chilled. You know, this is a real fragrant gingerbread. You can smell a lot of that spice going on in here. Our gingerbread is basically, of course, dark molasses, which you always need. Cloves, ginger, and cinnamon. We use butter, flour, of course, eggs. It's crunchy, but not like a snap. I don't know, it's kind of perfect, really. We make about how many of these during this, this holiday season? Well, last year we must have made at least 3,000, and that was just an early year, so... 3,000? Yeah. Wow. And we had some big orders. Okay. Around the holidays, this place is crazy. We ship them all over, so, you know, the kind of people who get ready early. Those are the people who start in November, and then the rest of them are, like, calling you right before Christmas. So that's it. Okay. Put them in the oven for, like, 10 minutes or so, and, uh... Let's do it. Let's do it. Take a little bit of a tight kitchen. Just a little bit. You start with two with the walls. Okay. So you need two end pieces mm -hmm. and two side walls. Got it. Pieces check, side walls. This is like a better version of Monopoly. Then you want to check that your walls are, are very straight. Like okay. they have a tendency to curve in Do you or ever use a level you might want to consider it <laughs> i have a level right there see she has a level so what i really like about the houses and the cookies is they're all the same but different which is like things i collect i will do the um make the roofs looks all snowy you want to smush a certain amount on and then you use the tip you're a little too technical for me. Smush a certain amount on. <laughs> yeah, but we have a whole vocabulary here. That... Okay. And then it's going to go into the sanding sugar right here? Yep, we're going to dunk. I'm a little scared of dunking. I'll leave the dunking to you and I'll pour. How about that? Okay. okay. Go ahead. So I'll dunk mine. And so that's... that's the roof. Great. So that's done. Now it's all the little minutia detail, right? Yep. Windows, green bushes, snowmen, wreaths. Who's the house expert? Andrew is the gingerbread house decorating expert. Yeah. So, come Let's on. see you in action. Andrew, Mary. Patty, can I try some of this? Sure. So, I like how much ginger is in there, but it's not oh, really assertive. No, subtle. Yeah. Which is great because kids like it also. Okay, you're like really fast and good at this. I'm kind of getting an inferiority complex watching him. I think I might need to destroy the evidence. The houses are not designed to be eaten in one bite. Most people will break off the roof, break off the base, and then once it's open like that, you can really pull it apart easily. They're not slick. They're done really well. They're kind of perfect in that they're pristine. There's a lot of detail, but you really see the hand. I really like this one. This one's my favorite. Thank you. 